So today I'm talking about a P0730 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0730 code? Well, it's an incorrect gear ratio. And what does this mean? Well, basically transmissions are going to have an input shaft. And this is where power is going to be going into the transmission from the engine. And this is going to be sent through the transmission, which is going to change gears and different things like this. And it's going to go to an output shaft, which is going to transfer all this power to the tires and move the vehicle forward. But when you get a P0730 code, the computer's detecting that there's some kind of issue going on here between the input shaft and the output shaft. There's sensors that's located on the input shaft and the output shaft. And this is sending information back to the computer how fast those shafts are spinning. And the computer's seeing that this information's wrong, that there's some kind of issue going on with this. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. No, why? And so what would be some possible causes of a P0730 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. If the transmission fluid's low or if it's really super dirty or there's some kind of issue with it, then this can cause problems. So the first thing to do, if possible, is go check your transmission fluid and be sure that it's at the correct level, that the fluid looks okay, that it doesn't look really super dirty or contaminated or anything like this. Some newer vehicles no longer allow you to check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick there. But if you can, go and check it. Be sure it's at the correct level and be sure that it's not really dirty. So the next thing that could cause this is a clogged up transmission filter. If that transmission filter gets all clogged up or anything like this, then the fluid is not going to be able to flow through the transmission, and that's going to cause problems. But the next thing on the list is going to be a clogged up transmission filter. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's been some kind of transmission failure. And it's going to be something like a bad pump, a bad planetary gear, there's a bad shift solenoid, or something like that. But something's failed inside the transmission that's just causing problems, and it's causing the vehicle not to shift correctly or different things like this. Usually if there's some kind of other problem, like this then you're going to get other codes for example if you had a bad shift solenoid or something like that you get a code for that shift solenoid being bad and things along these lines but the next thing that could cause this is some kind of transmission failure inside of the transmission and the last thing on the list is going to be that there's been a computer failure that there's something going on with like the transmission control module or some kind of issue with the powertrain control module or something like this and this isn't too common usually when you get a p0730 code there's going to be some kind of issue going on with the transmission itself but it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with one of the computers. If you do think it's some kind of computer issue, be sure that your battery is good, that the alternator is charging correctly, that it's not overcharging or undercharging or anything like this. Because all these computer modules, they all need a good stable power supply or they can cause issues with them. You can also be sure that they got a good ground wire going to them. Because if these computers don't have a good ground, then it can throw them off and cause them to do strange things. One way to test to see if it does have a bad ground is that if you have a jumper wire, you could jumper to the computer and then you could jump her over to a good ground, and then you could just see if the problem clears up or something along these lines. But again, it's not too common for the computer to have a problem. Usually it's going to be some kind of other issue, but the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0730 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe, and have a good day.